What's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy, Comics on the Edge. Welcome back to the Low Grades. What is up, everyone? Thanks for uh, hanging out with us today. Uh, got a You're got a good show going on today. Um, we'll probably we'll drop the link uh, later on. <laughs> <Hey>, <laughs> and that right there is my bro, uh, Two Booth Bandit. What's up, James? How's everything going, man? <clears throat> good, good. Um, we're late because of me, of course. Uh, uh-huh. Just got home from work. Uh, Got home from work, had to stop by on the way home, and, uh, you know, hit up the uh, unofficial sponsor of the low grades wiener schnitzel and <laughs> pick up some, some chili dogs. Now, let me tell you, I took a picture and everything. They have fucking mac and cheese chili dogs now. So, chili dog with some mac and cheese on top. Are they good? It was pretty good, actually. Oh, okay. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna say it's good, but no, I, it was actually good. Now, is the mac and cheese like good by itself? I don't know. They serve it in a bowl, like just the mac. They also serve like chili mac. So, I don't know if it's any good by itself. I had it all together. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I just will say though, I basically ate. Now I'm here. So. <laughs> At some point of this show, those chili dogs may come back with a vengeance, and I, I might have to disappear for a little bit. But uh, in the meantime, I'm here. You might also need a nap in between, too. This is true. This is true. You know, I'll wait till you <laughs> drop the link, and then people join, and then I'll, I'll have that. Okay. Nap. All right. Cool. Um, uh, oh, man. What was I going to say? Uh, God damn it. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to ask, like, did you lollygag after work, or do you just can't come straight home? Well, you answered that question. Yeah, no, I pretty much, uh, I stayed late. And then, um, so today was like my first, I spent from 12 to 5 by myself um, in the new position, which was a little challenging, but uh, it was good. So I was by myself. I ended up staying to like 6 um, or a little bit after 6. And then I was like, well, I need to eat before the show. So let me go get these uh these wieners, and then uh, <laughs> I see Brian just got in uh, chili chili mac at Wiener Schnitzel. Brian, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, so I was like, let me swing oh. on by. Yeah, so, go ahead. No, sorry, my bad. I was just gonna say, I, I I was like, let me swing on by. That's what I'll have for dinner. So I ate real quick, knowing that I figured, you know, if it's gonna upset my stomach from the drive home to when I get home, you know, I'll I'll, I'll know. So far, yeah. so good. Well, I mean, you know, you eat it so much, you probably have some type of immunities. This is true. Towards this is, it. This is also a very good yeah. point there. Um, but, um, yeah. but but what what I was gonna say is they brought back one of me and Mike's favorite dish, um, the chili cheese burrito, chili oh, cheese fries okay. burrito, dude. Mm-hmm. That that thing is so fucking good, and yeah. you could eat it while you're driving and. Oh man! I... Shout out, shout out, Wiener Stencil, man! I'm telling you, <laughs> unofficial sponsor of the show. You know, <clears throat> we're gonna speak it into existence. But yeah, <laughs> one day. I I don't think that you showed it last week, huh? Your haul? I did. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, I can't remember. I'm getting old. Well, you know, we kind of like overshadowed it because we had such a great guest on, and mm-hmm. it was like you know, it, it was. It was more about Brian, you know, than uh, than the wieners. But and this is true, man. We'll always be here. Well, speaking of that, let's go ahead and say what's up to the chat. Let me get this link ready so I could drop it all up on your faces, neck, and chest. Wow. Uh, all right, let me run. Let me let me let me do it. I guess this is my job now, right? Uh, <clears throat> Rob's fat stacks of comics first. Now it's time to go grab a hot dog while I wait. Absolutely, and shameless plug. I will be on his channel tomorrow morning at 11 
30 a.m. Pacific time, a.k.a. the only time that matters. So figure it out if you're not from here. Are but you still nervous? Be, um, No, I'm not nervous. I haven't got anything together, so I will be doing that after our show tonight. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so, no, it, it's going to be a fun time showing off uh, all my slabs and stuff. Uh, we got Caroline in the house. What is going on? Rob, if you're if you're still here, I would appreciate it if um how many books you have to show? Like twenty? He said like twenty to twenty five or something like that. Okay. Uh Rob, I, I, um every what? time he shows a book, just whisper trash. Like Oh. You yeah. know, we'll we'll get it. We'll understand. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. Like that. It's not gonna be trash shown, but yes, I will um I guess I'll prep myself ahead of time. Um Comics by the Bay, the hot dog broski is here. What is going on, my man? Katie, nice to see you. And we got Doreen back in the house. What is up? We also have What's our up? man Steve here in the house. Let's see. We got Steve. Mark. And we are back to being late. You know, we just, look, it just happened, man. Um, Katie's on the gummies, so she's having a good night tonight. We got Southpaw Brad in the house as well. I saw something from him here we go he said he was gonna pour a drink and hang out with these fine folks tonight so cheers appreciate man. it cheers. have oh, a, yeah. let us know what you're drinking by the way definitely would i'm i will robert pineapple Tony, juice but i i would like to know we got <laughs> bo in the house what up bo um oh my god anyways i have not listened to the album yet but i'm sure there's some bangers on there i i do i do listen to a little tay tay uh we got rick in the house what is going on i was happy you don't even know i i usually like if i have a plan of attack going somewhere it, it takes a lot to get me off my game now speaking of off my game this is uh marcus is in the house joining us what's tonight. up marcus what up homie G gq model of the year man uh sporting sporting undies like no other what's up man how you been I've been known. What's up, fellas? Good to be here. Not <laughs> only seven minutes late. I thought we were turning a new leaf, being on time. Apparently, that's not the case. We tried. Anymore. It was really hard. Uh, you know what, Marcus? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. Uh, you could go ahead and bring Robin. What's up, Rob? Good to see you, man. Um, Marcus, it's hard. It's hard to do the right thing when your partner's not on the same level. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you you work solo. Um, you know, you're you're in control of your own environment. I I have to sometimes uh, rely on this guy. So, um, you know, in no way did he reach out to me and be like, "Hey, dude, I'm gonna be like, a <laughs> look uh, at this really? face." Really? <laughs> 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 no. Nah, um, you know, uh, turning into a new leaf. Uh, yeah, we did start at um, the right or, you know, the proper time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, it didn't happen the last couple of times, but I kind of look at it as streaks are meant to be broken. And, you know, that's my perspective on the whole situation. I'm just trying to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say now, uh, from now on, I will be working every Friday. So we're going to start somewhere between seven and seven 30 is the plan. Um, <laughs> but that, you know, the schedule changes and, you know, we got to roll with it. I do want to shout out 30 goes time. Melanin goes and manga time. here. Uh, they are doing a giveaway on their, uh, Instagram there. It's like a bunch of rules. So go check out the, go check it out. So you can see the 17 different rules that they have you do. But, hey girls, can that, you rig that for me, please? Yeah. Uh, I'd appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Also, um, I wonder if uh, some of the the giveaway is going to be like sealed books. You know, they're big fans of sealed books, dude. I, you know, they can't get enough of that. Corn dogs. <laughs> let's see. Steve's a fan of the junkyard chili dog. Okay, okay, okay. Trash. <laughs> That's central standard. Oh my god. I'm just uh, representing, man. We out here. God's time. I got to show 20 to 25. I'll put it together. The time zone uh, almost everyone forgot. Toys. <laughs> I only have one toy this week, Brad. Only one this time. And it, technically, I've already posted it, so it's really not going to be that much of a surprise. 
Um, he is drinking Jack Daniel single barrel proof rye. Okay, okay, fancy. Sounds well, pretty yeasty, con- if you ask me. Hmm. We got the connoisseurs in the house. What is going on, fellas? So well. And uh, I think we're caught up now. So yeah. Oh, you got lady. How, how did you guys go this long without discovering Wiener Schnitzel? That's what I don't get. No, 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 no. We, we, oh, we okay. discovered it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Um, right. James has not been uh, voc- as vocal about it um, until this year. I mean, this is this and last year is this glizzy fucking uh, alter ego. He's all about the wiener. I'm Got trying it. to yeah. become an influencer. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, take this thing to another level now. But um, no, I... I will tell you, I think all because I just got another damn coupon today when I got mine. I remember always being excited for the Wiener Central coupons to come in because you used to get the chili dog, the chili burger, and the chili cheese fries for a dollar ninety nine. And every time we got that, we'd go me, me and my dad would go get it. And then that shit crept up. Then it was known as the three for three, and then it was the three for three thirty three. <laughs> I don't even know what that coupon is now, but it's probably like three for fifteen dollars. I, so. I won't even remember tell you what I remember. My core, because I always <laughs> care about the corn dogs. I think I remember them being like two for a dollar, and then like oh, you know now they're a lot more than that. <laughs> it's crazy. Marcus, are you down with the Wiener Central or not so I much? Mean, I mean, you know, I'm not against it. I'm not really for it either, though. Do you, but do you like going going there every once in a while, or I don't think we have those here. Do we? oh shit, Winter Snitchel. No, I don't. Think um, there is there like a short. Obviously, you would recognize them. Most of their buildings are like shaped like a dog, a big giant A frame doghouse that you drive right no. through the middle of the building. Yeah, their poor, their poor workers have to walk through the, across the drive through <laughs> lane to go for, get the inventory into yeah. the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I mean, In and Out does the same thing too. So uh, you know. That's Maybe they try to copy them or something. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I remember when they introduced hamburgers to their menu, and I was like, oh, what the? Who's going to go get a hamburger from Wiener's Nestle? That just doesn't. <clears throat> I mean, doesn't wow, Caroline, sense. you should move, man. I you mean, know, since that's. They're, since they're not a sponsor yet, I will say you shouldn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the answer is you should not. You, you don't go there and go, oh, man, those burgers are so. No, it, <laughs> right. you're, you're going there for the chili dog or the corn dog or some version of that like that's what you're going for now if you like their hamburgers i guess good for you but no the chili cheese fries yes uh, even the chili cheese burger is just it's all right it's it's the worst of the three for sure it's just, you know one of the most unique things i've ever had from them was the um fish hot dog, fish dog. I, I don't i know that's not what it was called but it, it's fish in a bun it's, it's fish dog or sea dog fish Sea dog. dog. There you go. Wow. <laughs> so instead of putting mustard or something, you put uh, they put tartar sauce on tartar. it. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I'm not, not gonna lie. I'm not yet. We have oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They have a no. what? They have daddy's dogs. Daddy's dogs. Wow. Thank you, excuse me. Can I've never heard of that place. And it's and he's probably an East Coast regional thing. <laughs> I remember when the, when the when the mini corn dogs came out originally. Those were not good. I was expecting to be like good but then it turned out that they were just vienna sausages that they had <laughs> cornbreaded and vienna sausages were not the same as a hot dog it was not, oh shit they're good i think now. they've changed yeah, yeah they've know. changed it since then but originally they were they were just <laughs> vienna sausage it was like oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh man marcus we were talking about streaks earlier um you going streak? do you have a do you have a streak going on with your show you so you plan on FOC? Do you do you ever get to it or? I got to it a little bit about two episodes ago, but it got interrupted. Okay. Uh, yeah. but no, I I usually don't get to it. It was a packed house <laughs> this week. That's just hilarious, man. You you do an FOC show and just never get to it. Yeah, the people decided that there's a plenty of <laughs> FOC shows and I don't need to be another one. So. There is, there is, but it's it's just funny. You still like. I'll put it in the title and everything, and yeah. it just yeah, never like I, w- I I just imagine somebody going to your show, not knowing anything about it, yeah, watching the whole three hours and being like, "What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> what yeah. what comics am I buying tomorrow?" You know, uh, that is it's become a threat. It's like 
you know, either you guys come and chill or I'm going to talk FOC. <laughs> it's, a, it's blackmail now. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. You know, I never know who I'm going to get week to week. It's always fun. And I don't know what they're going to want to talk about. Uh, so it's always interesting. Yeah, you know, I, um, I do get to watch it uh, sometimes live, but I don't really get to interact because I'm with my son at his water polo practice. So, I mean, water that, polo, that sounds rich. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it, <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> Like but I'm always like, man, yeah. I, I wish I could join, but you know, I I really don't like going on people's shows with my iPhone because the battery gets drained so fast, and then I'm not even I've sure if the audio it. comes out great, huh? Yeah, I've never done it on my phone, so I wouldn't even know how to do it. I used to do it like a long time ago when I first started, um, you know, going on shows or doing shows, and I just hated it because my phone would get so hot and yeah and i have an iphone and you would think you'd now, be able to I now apparently there's actually a stream yard guest app for i for iphones we just found that out today wow really? they, android, they, they did android update. does not have one android does not have one oh. but there's uh, but for the i for the i sheep <laughs> uh -huh, they have uh -huh. they have a uh the stream yard app <laughs> the it's called like stream yard guest app so they because the, there were also the ones that a lot of times had the problems where you would um you you would try oh, to like, burn your phone hit, hit the link and it wouldn't your yeah, audio each. wouldn't work or whatnot so i guess yeah. it all works now with the Streamyard app but nice um yeah they i guess they did an update and um i think you could like i haven't messed with it but can't you move the boxes without it being like so like like perfect you, how it you is can now completely customize it yeah that's yeah i, gotta, I, I, I made i made special customized versions for my show mm -hmm. because i didn't like when i wanted it such that when the guests when comments popped up that they didn't cover certain mm. things you know yeah. yes see i mean you put more uh care into detail than um than i do because i don't even like editing videos yeah he starts his show on time too so it, do you it, really i do we i was oh. talking about that with james yeah. i've been warned yeah we we <laughs> we, we start like <laughs> guess not there we'll go <laughs> good luck man I, you, you know, gotta yeah. warn james you gotta I make sure james there, there on time. i'll be there early all right he's such a yeah. mexican sometimes you know <laughs> you're on that cpt <laughs> hey, uh, so what you're saying is, so what you're saying is he's extremely hard working and un oh, <laughs> not valued uh, as much as he should be. <laughs> uh, oh man! Ingratiate myself. I'm gonna share screen real quick because. Uh, so we're just letting uh, anybody on only slabs now, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is uh daddy's dogs. Oh okay. And uh. That looks that looks look at that. Good. Love it when the wieners date rid of the buns. They, they're kind of burnt. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that little char is good. I like the char marks. It is it looks like like a baguette or like a you know a bread roll <laughs> that they put on the grill and then cut it open and then put the dog in there. I don't know, man. That like you know, that's a good question, James. Like, do you prefer it boiled or grilled? Because well. Like I feel like grilled, you get the the char marks, and you know, I'm not really like into. It. I think I would prefer boiled, honestly. I don't like because that's how. Very clear. I don't like. That's how Wiener Central does it. That's how Costco and Sam's mm -hmm. does it. Um, I will say, yeah. and I've talked to to uh, our boy Caleb, A.K. Juice and Cookie. Shout out to him. But once you get an air fryer and you start putting them in the air fryer, like you don't, you can't go back. Like yeah, that, I can't live without my air fryer. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I love this it. this is even, the way. You know, put hot dogs in there, man. I'm still putting the Italian sausages and linguisa in there, and that's what I'm cooking up. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that I usually put my hot dogs on the grill. I have a grill that I use for that, but no, the yeah. fryer is money, dog. It changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you have a grill? That sounds like money, dude. <laughs> no, that ain't, like water. That ain't not like water polo, bro. How, how, how many? How many grills? Just, uh, one. Just, one. just one yeah i'm not serious about it like you i don't even really how, know how to cook really how about, how, about, how about smokers yeah none of that i barely know what i'm doing oh 
<laughs> You'll come out. I'll teach you. Yeah, I, I need help. I do need help. You know, you do need help with Marcus is getting a goddamn switch, dude. We, I we, have one. I have one. Well, actually, have my, you... kids, my kids have one, but they never, ever play it, so I can play it whenever I want. There you go, man. man. Uh, Although I will say as soon as I start playing it, they're going to want it. I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, they're gonna be watching you and be like, yeah. "All right, Dad, it's my turn." Yeah, I don't think I um I need to get on there. I don't know how it works. Like, how do you add friends and stuff? I don't know how any of that works. But I'm I'm on there as circumstances, though. Man, somebody send this guy a link to the the oh, the yeah. car chat. Yeah. Man, he, he's earned it. He's gonna steal <laughs> his kid's switch so he can play with us. <laughs> I might get them to start playing it. They, they when they first got it, they played it like crazy. But then my daughter hit this ice stage on the Mario game, and she hates it. And so oh, she says, "Quit playing." Well, I if if I'm happy for anything, it's the fact that you got it before Bubs did. You know, Bubs is talking. A, he he's been talking a big game about getting one, and when he finally was able to uh, afford one, he chose a fucking <laughs> a Wii U. <laughs> Right? Yeah. yeah. A Wii, Wii U. U. What? Yeah. yeah. And then he gave us the whole spiel of, well, I can mod it and that shit. You ain't going to mod shit. Come on, man. <laughs> mod it. Oh. I've been playing that Hell Divers. You probably, it's not on Nintendo. But there, there's a new game called Hell Divers 2 yeah. that is all the rage. It's yeah. a oh, what's, what is it? Like a shooter? It's a shooter game, but it's, it's a co op. So instead of PvP where you're killing each other, you're all working on the same team. And the funny thing that has made uh, uh, made it ripe for memes is it's built this world where we're like um, Super Earth is it's all one nation now, right? Obviously that ends up, but like it's an extremely fascist nation. Ah, and so nice. like there's anything that you would read in 1984, that's what this world is, but we're all for it and we're on team fascism going out and fighting for it. So uh, it's a pretty fun game. Nice. You're playing games like that and I'm over here stuck with uh Princess Peach's uh Showtime. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm I still dig it. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like it's it's a is fun it a game. Platformer? Yeah, is it a platformer or is yeah. it like uh Mario? uh it no nah, it's like a platform right i feel like you know um, it, but it is entertaining so uh get on the princess peach uh train guys <laughs> no no thank you, you. wait till princess peach on a train what <laughs> yeah, <they're... laughs> rob gets me so much man <laughs> caroline says she'll join you on that train apparently wants her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about linguisa. Uh, you, got, you got Doreen over here just drooling now. Sad. Unfortunately, I live in I live in a city where like there's a very high Portuguese population, so we got really good places that we can go to get so the best linguisa around. Not that stupid stuff we get at the freaking grocery store. Yeah, hmm. yeah, I don't even. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it's it's for. it's a Portuguese sausage. Along the same long lengths of like a Polish or a hot link or something from that type of a size of a sausage, but it just it's not spicy, but it just has it just has different flavors and stuff in it. You know, same size mm. of a chorizo or whatever else. Yeah. Rob, I have an idea, bro. <laughs> All right, um, when you guys do your show tomorrow, your guys' yeah. alter ego will be you'll be a sausage and he'll be a wiener. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Oh my god! Is Wait, you, you, see, you see my my Instagram uh, story for it's got the countdown to tomorrow's show. I made a point of putting some ha dancing hot dogs and stuff he on did. it for him. He did. Yeah, you seem like a sausage person, though. You know, they I they kind of they kind of clash, I, don't they? I I, pre I prefer I prefer having either the uh, like I said linguisas or um, Italian sausages over yeah. a st standard hot dog, but I still yeah. enjoy enjoy a standard hot dog. On the grill. Rob, Rob, have you ever and stuffed your own food. sausage? No. No? Would you like to? I don't know. I don't have a recipe it seems, for it. It seems kind of like fun. There's a, there's a couple places. I mean, I don't know about I don't know. There's a couple places I have, depending on which way you want to talk, take this conversation. From a sta pure food <laughs> standpoint, there's a Yeah, place pure food. I, pure food. I got a, there's a couple places around here that 
actually, if you just bring them your recipe, they'll make it for you. Oh, nice. So you like, don't, you don't, I, I don't even it. know what stuff, stuffing a sausage in the sexual term would be. So no. bend over, you find out. No. I, figured <laughs> you had some, I figured you had something in mind. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Basically, Rob said he can go to the corner and they'll stuff his sausage for him. Is what <laughs> <I'm the> <laughs> He's got a guy. <laughs> oh, man. oh shit man that's great hey uh rob did you hit up a like a show last week or something uh yeah yeah there was the brickley comic show how was that it was phenomenal comic web hooked me up big time oh shit look at brian fucking yeah. willing and dealing huh yeah, no, because I had seen him. So he kind of alluded to it during your guys' interview, but so he, you know, he had a Marvel spotlight too, um, that I had been really digging, digging on. What I was looking for, and I talked to him about it at SAC, uh, where at the Sacramento Con, Com Con. He, I said, because I had been very cognizant of what the pricing was for it, and knew that like a seven five had just sold for, you know, slabbed seven five sold for like four hundred dollars and he mm. had his raw copy tagged at like almost eight hundred dollars and mm. i asked him i said well what do you got i see what you've got the tag what's your price and, you know or what's your grade on it and he was mm. saying like seven so i said well i said i'll tell you what i just just so you know i put showed him here's what this mark the market is on it now um go do your own research obviously on it and if you're interested um, later on hit me up after the show we, we can talk Mm -hmm. And then um, I hadn't heard from him. And so then going into Berkeley Comic Show, um, <laughs> I already had one of the other dealers I deal with all the time, Mark from um, Berkeley House of Comics. I was already before the show was already 200 something dollars into him because he oh. goes, go to my eBay site. Just pull to tell me what you want and I'll give you 25 percent off. And I was nice. like, do, 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 do. <laughs> and then uh, so, so as soon as I walked in, I told Mark, Mark's right on the corner. I said, hey, I'll be back. I went straight back to Brian because uh, I had told him ahead of time, hey, I'll be there. I want to talk to you about that Marvel Spotlight too. So he came back. First, first, first Red Wolf, Wolf, right? Wolf, no, I'm just night. kidding. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he goes, okay, you know, he goes, yeah, you're right. The market come down, blah, blah, blah. So he goes, you know, I got it tagged now at like 400 bucks. And of course, that's what the slab price was for us for a seven five and so i was mm. like oh, hmm, okay that's interesting i said uh, i'll think about it here and then i started digging through all this stuff started pulling a bunch of the marvel uh horror books and stuff that i like from the 70s had a pretty good stack probably about 10 or 12 books pulled out and said all right if i put all this together what now what are we talking and basically he just said he just threw in all the other books and wow that's so. awesome so that oh, was yeah, the deal. Really that was good. the deal, and then of course that was what we were joking about. Was one of the books in there wasn't priced? Uh, every, <laughs> uh, every, <laughs> all the books yeah. are priced. It's like one wasn't. He's like, well, well, I guess it's cover price. That's the only yeah. price that's there, right? This is yeah. Fifteen cents. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use a coupon code low grades for life or? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but I had to give him a reach around. No. Oh. <laughs> man, the that's, things you do for comics, bro. Shit. Yeah, that actually was the coupon code. The reader. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it was all it was all good. He uh, he took he took good care of me. So no, that's, that's awesome. why I, that's why I keep going back. That's why we keep going back, right, James? Yeah, I need to get better yeah. about negotiating. I don't ever do that. I should do that more. Why? Why? That's like I don't know. Dude. So I'm sometimes stupid. it's fun, but sometimes it is a headache. Like if you don't know the person, it could potentially be like a headache and you might not even get anywhere yeah you know, we got a comic journey in the house what's up man we got the link in there if you want i'm not a you know I'm not, i will negotiate with people but i don't care for it so much i just want to go like look here's the mark here's where here's where the market price is that's what i want i don't want to sit there i hate having to sit there play the game of they're going to overprice it i got to come in under price so that way somewhere we come to actually yeah. freaking prices yeah. i like to go look here's the price boom and i don't play the game like i've had guys on a uh, short box where they're overpriced and i come down and go okay well here's the market prices so they give you the market yeah. right there well here's go here's what I'll, <laughs> I'll here's my offer and they try to come back in between and i'll counter it right back at my original offer mm -hmm. and either they'll realize i'm not playing the game here we go this is yeah. or they'll try to play it again and i'll go oh, right by done 
Yeah. No joy. Um, I got I got seventy other books on my want list. I don't. Yeah. Know. Exactly. <laughs> Marcus, I, I feel like you probably don't play the game because the price is over. Yo, what's up, Chris? Um, the prices over there are already like they're not like California prices, if you will. You know, um, I I, I watch videos from uh, you know places around the country and stuff and like sometimes you'll see the tags and you're like fuck dude like <laughs> i wish those prices were like that over here so yeah you, guys you may you, may i don't know i mean you know may, everything costs know. Me, though, too so. yeah but like i feel like how it is here and i think that's what rob was kind of saying is they're already overpriced it's a it's a matter of like meeting in the middle and then getting more off of that top the top of that you know, I mean, when I negotiate, I just like, I turn into like a, a comic whisperer or something where I just see numbers in my head and I'm just like, I'm, I'm set at a number. Like, I mean, when we were at the convention or WonderCon, the last booth, I got a book from like, there are, there were already like really good priced, but I was kind of set on a price lower than that. And I, I ended up getting it which surprised the fuck out of me because they were kind of like dicks about it you know a lot, a lot of those cons you go there if, if you don't get a better deal than what's posted it's because you didn't ask yeah I mean, it, it's yeah. they all there there's some, some level of expectation especially if you're not paying credit card if you're paying yeah. the cash yeah pat cash or most of the most of the i find so i'll bring cash i find a lot of the guys will take zell uh, which yeah. because it's not a it, because it's just a transfer of money. It's not a payment plan. They can, yeah. they don't they can still hide it hide their money just like they do cash. And then yeah. there's a, then you get less and less nowadays who have like PayPal friends and family or something because most of them have have business accounts. But I don't mind paying somebody five hundred dollars friends and family if I'm getting the book right then and there mm -hmm. handed mm -hmm. to me type of thing. So if that if that's gonna save me some money on on the deal so be it yeah yeah definitely cash is king at shows and, and conventions but i do see a lot more vendors accepting other types of payment even paypal which yeah they I'd you know vendors it. hate paypal because of the the fees and you know stuff like that so um you know i i think at this point it's just like money's money like yeah, well, whatever. You, don't get, you don't get as good of a deal with the paypal if you're pay if they're a business account or something but you know but th that's a trick it, though you, you gotta make the the deal before you uh tell them what kind of kind of payment you have uh, well, yeah I'm, it's a shame shame on them if they don't if they don't they don't well, know they don't ask that so personally um if i see somebody like making a transaction before i even hit them up for a deal and it's with you know paypal or whatever like then I, i'll know like you know i'm not just going to be like asking like i you know i, I no, feel no, like you i mean them. Oh, if, as, oh. a, as a vendor if you're mm -hmm. in the middle of the negotiation you're not asking they're not asking up you know usually part of that thing is well how yeah. are you paying because yeah. that's yeah. where they really kind of go so there are you paying cash you mm -hmm. know because <laughs> that's different but, yeah but yeah, because so the, the problem is not just the vendor; it's not just the fees there, but it's because those things are, you know, it's a business account, whatever else. Now it's rep it's being reported. Now they they can't hide it from a tax standpoint. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not saying that these guys hide stuff that are paid cash or whatnot from their taxes. Right? Oh, they all be on the completely on the up and up, but theoretically, yeah, they could, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nobody goodness. would. Nobody would do that. Try to hide what, taxes from the government. What's your go-to cash app? I saw on, there was an argument on Twitter that like there's a racial element to cat or what cash app you use, which I really? thought was interesting. I, what you do know, you guys person, use? I for me. I don't know. Let, let's ask the cash app expert. What's up, Caroline? What's up? My what go-to is Venmo. That's the one I use the most, but apparently that's the that's the white people one is Venmo. I I, I, I love PayPal. I yeah, mean, I not just. I use PayPal the most. I'm just used to it. Does anybody use Cash App? Because that's the that was the black I one. I have right? it, but I don't. <laughs> but I don't use it very often. Yeah, I don't have Cash App, so I'm like, I guess I'm not black. Then. You you said that's the, you said that was a black. Yeah, there was a Twitter discussion that I saw. Re I think it was like last week, but they were talking about if someone says 
they want to use Venmo, then you know they they hang out with white people. Mm. Huh. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I do. <laughs> I, I pretty much use <laughs> PayPal or Zelle for the most part. I got to keep track of that now, Mark, because that's a that's interesting. I mean, yeah, I, was, I, I didn't know I didn't know this. I, yeah, it was news to me. But, I never yeah. never cared for Venmo because of their social. I know that people have told me you can turn it off, but yeah, when I initially, off. initially when there oh, was oh, bro, social, like social, I, I was like, oh, nope, that's it. No way am I yeah. ever getting that damn thing. It's weird. So, when people, I was like, why are yeah. you showing me all this stuff? I mean, <laughs> so, um, I didn't know that that those popped up. So, um, I Venmo to a friend of mine and for the comment, cause I guess you have to write a comment, right? Sometimes. I put, yeah. I put yeah. mouth stuff on there. That's you do have to and, put. I usually just use an emote. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, but that, I mean, but I think mouth stuff is pretty cool, cool, like funny, you know. Services rendered. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, yeah, I just prefer PayPal. PayPal because it's for me. It's already. It's all set up. All my cards are on there. Um, I you know, PayPal. if I want to. Yeah. So I use those. I use PayPal with my gambling apps mostly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you use for your OnlyFans? Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, oh man, I, I'm I'm still a little buzzed. I I drank a bunch of margaritas today. At, uh oh. Oh yeah. shit! Got to work so hard. The, the margarita machine was a hit. Then you can't. Went off smoothly. Oh yeah, came in clutch. <laughs> and, and they went down smoothly too. Made it happen. People so you already happy. turned up, huh, Caroline? Like you're ready for this weekend. Oh man, yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. My shit's old. Oh. Dude. <laughs> I can't That's even have fun anymore. Right now is a good time to cart with you because you'll you'll just like doze out or or something. Hey, keep hitting the walls. I'm not gonna and play shit. with you if you play, if you cart <laughs> right now. I'm gonna say fuck you. <laughs> car by your own damn self was there karaoke <laughs> no <laughs> you guys you guys want to get in some pickups <clears throat> let's do it. your show brother show all right show us let's get show. caroline before she fucking passes out hey thanks for showing up we we really enjoy having you do you when we can yeah i'll show you my this is my nostalgic get. Um, this is my smoke the bear. Oh shit! That's nice. I've never seen that cover. I've seen the other cover. I don't even know how many there are of that, but there's one where you find that every fucking like flea market and you know antique store. That one's different. Yeah, it's still seven hundred and eight. Wow. Saving Bambi. Yeah. Nice. I know. He's got like his little paws wrapped up with the first. Oh, one. look at yeah. that! Mm -hmm. That's who's, uh, who's his friend there? Um, uh, the bear. Yeah. Uh, his his friend Shorty. <laughs> Are you making that shit up? No. Okay, <laughs> 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 I, I thought it was Jogi and Boo Boo. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I thought. <laughs> did you? Did I show you my black cats? I gotta show you my black cats if I haven't. I may have already though. Um, I found this lot off eBay for ninety nine dollars, and it came with these three books, and nice. it's the last three books of the Black Cat with Harvey. Oh, last yeah. issue of the run, so that's issue sixty three. <laughs> there's a lot of Black Cat cool. fans. I like Black Cat. She's cool, man. Mm -hmm. And then there's um, issue sixty four. That one's cool too. That dude's covering his penis. Yeah. Weird. White man covering Satan's dong. <laughs> As it should be in hell. Right? Okay. Yeah. And then this is the final issue of the run. Issue 65. Oh, nice. I know. You know, you could just take a napkin and just wipe that 10 cent off. Right I'm there. sorry. Um, Phil, I hate to tell you, but it only goes to 65. <laughs> What's up, Benja? What up, Benja? Hey. You're never going to get to 69. Okay. 
off my face. Right. That's that was it. it. I love that. Uh, yeah. That yogi. It was a good stuff, but I wish he had more. Well, you know, a lot of people tell me that. So. <laughs> you have anything, Marcus? Uh, no, I don't have anything. Okay. So, What's up, Rob? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. I, I picked up a, a facsimile. Oh. Oh, nice. I found a place that's got, like, a run of these. So I've got the rest of them coming. So I can have 40, you know, 49, 50, 51, 52. And Not they're bad. all, like, they all true facsimiles with the original price. No barcodes yeah. and stuff. So in the okay. golden age size. So I'm, like, super pumped. Super There's a publisher popular. on that. I'd slab that and uh, pretend it was the real thing. Well, <laughs> actually, it's funny. Is actually the the I've seen some of these slabbed. Uh, people asking like four hundred bucks for them, which is quite a bit considering it's, it's a, a fac facsimile. <laughs> facsimile, but yeah. again, considering that the originals go for crappy condition, uh, you know, five six thousand dollars for. I know a guy that had a couple of them. I I, I didn't know that, that they were so expensive. Yeah, oh my god, that is the robot cover of robot covers. Oh, I'll give you his number. <laughs> Picked up white got, rabbits. Uh, yeah, exactly. First white rabbit. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Bonnie, Bonnie. The the DC one's sexier though. Yeah. Some just run filler, amazing Spider Man. McFarlane. That one's okay. This one, this cover I love. There's Jameson giving it to Spider Man. Nice. <laughs> J. Jonah James. Courtesy O'Brien, right? <laughs> That's crazy. No, these um these uh actually I got from uh, I think from I'd have to go back and double check. I think they were from Silver Age collectibles. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. even though no, even okay. though none of them are Silver Age. Uh, <laughs> it's always a great run. You should yeah. always pick those you up. Get the Craven awesome. Last Hunt. Yeah. For Spider Hulk. Love it. Didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. I'm a, big, I'm a big Hulk fan. Then just kind of randomly, passively picking up some of these uh, web Wait, of Spider Man. So it's like, uh, you know, first Night Watch. Or actually, I guess is the guy who becomes Night Watch, and technically, this is the book where he Night Watch in costume shows up. Nice. Mm -hmm. So Brian LCS. And then the last book I picked up uh, in my mail call this week was an upgrade. I had to pick up a. Uh, ASM 39 action uh, 6.0 nice. to upgrade my lowly 2.5 that I had. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Yeah. But it's actually, it's funny is I had a two, I have a 2.5 and a P, it's a PGX 2.5. And it's actually off at CGC right now as part of a series of videos I'm doing where I'm taking some of these PGX slabs and sending them in, having them regraded over at CGC and just to kind of see what happens. So, anyways. That's there you know because you did a uh, CBCS. I, now you're doing now you're doing PGX. You're sending P PGX slabs to CGC, right? Yeah. That's gonna be interesting because PGX is just like, oh my god, they missed so many marks. So I so I did the first I I did a video first video a couple weeks ago where I had sent some PGX books in to CGC. They were all nine eights going in. They all were nine eights coming back including my asm 361 first carnage which had a literally had a small tear on the back cover that was noted by pgx on their graders notes it was because mm. they gave me graders notes on a 98 that said small tear production tear and cgc agreed that it was a production tear and didn't ca didn't count it against it gave it a 98 as well um uh, uh. So now there's a second batch of books that's there right now, which is all Silver Age Spider-Man books that are like low to mid-grade books to see, you know, not only that'll, see be, what, that'll see, be more that, interesting. That'll right? be more interesting, right? And I have a set of books that's on its way back from CBCS that were all nine eight books, PGX signature verified, or which now have gone to CBCS to regrade and do their signature verification on it. Um just kind of see what happens there more or less i wanted to move some of those books were pretty expensive books at this point um that i wanted to get out of the pgx holders and so it's just an opportunity to the lower grade coach. the lower grade pgx going to see cgc that's going to be an interesting video for yeah. sure i think 
That's going to get some buzz. I that one's like. going to get, well, yeah. Well, the first video I did got what 8,500 views. So right now, yeah. uh, that one's going to be bigger. This, this one will probably be bigger. And then the, one that, the other one I have planned, that's going to be really crazy. I'm going to send six books, six PGX books to CGC, and they're all going to be nine nines or tens. Ooh. So PGX nine nines and PGX tens, send them all to CGC, have them regrade. See, how that goes. See, see if I get, if any of them, I mean, I'll, I'll be fine with them all coming back nine eights, yeah. but I'd be curious to see if any of them come less or if any uh. of them actually still keep the nine, nine or a 10. Bubs. It, now that CGC it, is watching for those, no, we'll it doesn't seem like the, like the market. It doesn't seem like the market has moved to where the expectation is a nine nine or a ten. I yet. don't think you know. I, it's still a very you know s small thing, but the fact that they're looking for them now will increase the number that exists. Yeah, and, and so was I was always wondering. The, I was wondering with modern books if over time the market would shift as a result. Maybe, but I mean, it all depends upon again supply and demand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the P it's the same thing as happened with, um, you know, I used to explain it when I used to talk about PGX and why I have so many like tens and nine nines. And it just happens to be that they would start their grading there and come down. Whereas wow. because CGC starts at a nine, eight, and then it used to be like, maybe if they were looking for it, they might give it a nine, nine or a 10, if it had some mythical plus attributes, you know, mm. type of thing, but just by that type of like nature, you would, always, you would, yeah, you would always Take end up on. with more one way or the other. But now that they're looking, it's interesting. It'll be an interesting experiment. Yeah. Bubs, Bubs, I heard uh, they were talking shit about you. Why the hell did you get a, a fucking Wii U? <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> get, get on here and justify your poor life. Oh man. I, I, he can get it modded, though. I know, right? <laughs> I like how she just called this out, me and James out, and then she, yeah. uh, you know, insults yeah. him by, you know, saying, like, why the fuck did you do that? It pisses me off. Oh, it does me, too, you know, because I think he did it to, to piss us off, yeah. pretty much. I, mean, I, I, I take it as a first move. Front. Yeah. Did you hide, I thought you had 20 to 25 books. That was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 20 to 25 is what he, what he needs to bring in when he comes on uh, the old show tomorrow. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought, there okay. Go. Right there. Look at, mm -hmm. look at that slut. Yeah. You I better bring it, James. Picture. I'm, I'm going to have be... a flab in the picture. That's how cool <laughs> I am. Yeah, because yeah, if you don't room. send it in, I go look for whatever I can use. And then he sent me the picture after I made it, and I was too lazy to redo the thumbnail. It's okay. It's okay. That's like James, like six years ago, dude. No, that's like two years ago. The wall is still probably, I don't even know what the wall is at that time, but the wall hasn't changed much. That's all right. A thumbnail, right, on, a thumbnail on YouTube, it's about the size of a... You want to pet my pussy? Uh, whoa. Wow. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Whoa. I'm telling you, them margaritas was hitting. The answer is right. always yes. My pussy Carol. bites back. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. um, you know what? Let me, I'll go next because um, I don't have new stuff, but I'm, I'm still riding my high off of my CGC submission. Exactly. You know? So let me go Let's before you show shit off. Back fast. Oh, I do have something to show. Uh, I just realized. All show. right. Yeah. What do you got, Marcus? No, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I'm go for it, man. In front of you. All right. Well, let me pull it on. Just put it on my wall. I got this one back. I ordered this at a con last year, actually. I Dude, I drank like five margaritas. <laughs> but I just got it at Planet. Whoa, I got a, look at that. It's ill, bro. Got a sketch from uh, Jeffrey Edwards Illustrated. No doubt. Uh, he's a localish artist. And I just, he went above and beyond on this yeah. thing, adding the color to it. That and, That's like uh, better than anything McFarlane ever drew. Oh, the fuck oh I wouldn't go there. <laughs> I wouldn't go there with it. But I'm really <laughs> proud of it, man. Love to have this thing on my wall. So, yeah, that's, that's awesome. all I had. That's awesome, man. What do you think about that, James? I think that's a great, great book. That was all right. He says that, but it's X Men that's behind. So yeah. <laughs> it's been really hard to change this wall. Like I've There's gotten fire. I've gotten so many compliments, like uncanny swag comments on every one of my posts, just because of the wall. 
And I'm like, it. I, I can't. I can't change it. Especially with X-Men 97 going on right now. Like, mm-hmm. I just can't change it. I, I yeah, I mean, it. look, you've got good taste. You can't help it. Were you there <laughs> when Caroline was crying the other day? Now I get to throw you under the bus. The what? <laughs> Bro, I was crying on a voice thing. Oh, she, she was in the chat. Yeah, she, yeah. She's like video recording her, like yeah. or audio recording herself, crop like bawling. I'm just like, what is going on up. here? I was sad. It was like straight reaction. Sad yeah. about what? <laughs> was it a secret? When she said she can't feel him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my shit, uh, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll get I'll get to that when I'm done with the uh, Love is Blind, so um oh, I'll, I'll pick that up God. next. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. that's so cute. Girl. <laughs> what? I was sad, bro. I wasn't expecting no, it, Marcus. No, I'm like, you. I'm like, play audio, and you just, she's just like oh, babbling so and just crying. I'm like, dude, this is like. That was my know, entire timeline. I mean, people just reacting that yeah. way, sad about it. Yeah, it was good. Have some feelings, man. Have some emotions. Oh, did you cry, crying? James? No, I didn't cry, but it was okay. it was sad though. But it was definitely sad. It was good. It was. Good. I was I more happy than sad though, because I'm like, yes, they're bringing. Finally, it, he's right? dead. Yeah, raising oh. the stakes, <laughs> just raising the stakes of the story, so that you're yeah. you're you're afraid now. Like it's I was like crying like a bitch, man. If only it was in comics and it would stick. Yeah, it's not gonna stick. You're right, but still, it was fun. <laughs> raising the stakes. Interesting. Uh, the only thing Marvel can hang their hat on right now. I got hope for DC and Marvel's future. I got hope for. I both mean, I do too, but I'm also an asshole. So, talk to us, James. It's all about the uh, Spawn movie that's going to come out eventually. Oh. So, no. uh, I do have some figures. I actually have more than one. I, I oh lied. Jesus Christ, dude! I'm tired of seeing hey. these damn figures, bro. He's got like hey, of those. Holy Real shit! Quick, did you see they're doing Batman Spawn in the animated series? No, they're not. <laughs> What's did I hear that? Didn't I hear that? I swear it, I did. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't hear it correctly. It was posted on April Fool's by a Spawn page. It's not. It's not real. Oh, it isn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> because even that. Katie posted it like the other day in a chat, and I was like, "Look, I fell for it the first time too." <laughs> I, was, I, I haven't seen. I heard someone say it. I haven't seen anything. Oh, it's, it was just like an image. It is like an image animated of the two of them, and it said like. I'm looking Keith at David it. was gonna, you know, redo Spawn, and I think it even said Kevin Conroy is one of his last Batmans, and I'm like, that was already had me a little. Well, I thought okay. that uh, this Crisis on Infinite Earths or whatever is gonna be like the last time for him, but um, yeah, it's why anyway, April yeah, first it is the worst. supposed to be just the April Fool's thing. Yeah. April first um, is the worst because you can't trust what you're reading on the internet. <laughs> what kind of world is that when the internet's not true? <laughs> Yeah, I think the people who were saying it were joking. I just didn't realize they were joking. Uh, y'all, so, I gotta go be on the fucking hunt. All right. Gotta, we don't talk about other shows on here. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, it was good having you, Caroline. We'll we'll see you in the chat. Good luck. I we're more fun. Though. Keep it together, okay? All right, sponsor. Kick it. <laughs> ready? Um, Still got another forty-five minutes, I think. You know, they got to pre-prep and all that kind of stuff. So, um, all right. got to read, right? read your scripts. Yeah. More figures for Rob. This is uh, the line of the 30th anniversary of McFarland Toys. I did get the all signed ones. So we have Commando Spawn right there. These are basically all like re releases except for. Well, so there's, is there a Commando Spawn in the story? There's a real one in the yeah. story. And they've Does made a. Uh, Are you surprised he had pants? Thing and all that before. Is. I said all of these. There's four of them. Two of them are have already been done, so I totally lied there. But this is uh Hell Spawn here. This is from that Hell Spawn series right there on the back. And then the two that were definitely my favorite <clears throat> is the Wakanda Forever Chadwick Boseman. Uh, hey, take that one out. I want to look at it closer. <laughs> yeah, it's a good figure. I'm not taking it out, but it is a really good. <laughs> Dude, that's like that's like real life right now. Marcus. I would buy it. 
If I found that one, I, I don't have a single. His figure. positioning is like him in the coffin right now, dude. Look at that. <laughs> you your fucking mouth. I would buy, I would buy that one. Steal one of the coffins from like Monster High. And... <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Wow. This shit just got dark, man. That was, what a, the good hell? One. That was a good one, Robert. Yeah, who did? Who did that? I don't know. I've ever like heard you take it there before, but um. I, I really do love this one. This is the double pack with Todd, and Todd has got a microphone plus a little replica of his first ever drawing of Spawn, which is what you get here, his little rendition when he was a kid. You also get bare feet, so you can make him barefoot, because apparently he said that's how he always walks around the office, is barefoot. So, oh, my God. That would suck, looking at he's his He's one feet of those. I know. He's one of those. When I first saw that... um uh that package uh i thought it was a cosplayer next to him like spawn the cosplayer oh the, oh okay i got you that yeah no yeah that's his uh his first drawing that's cool uh, so yeah this was a pretty cool set and then that's gonna that's have, it for the figures right i have now. a question yeah, about one of those figures, together though. huh i said i have oh. a question about one of those figures uh oh you okay. no 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 so you said one of those was like you said it was hell spawn. Mm -hmm. Isn't he spawn, is a hell yes. isn't spawn hell spawn? He yeah. is a hell spawn. Right. That's just the name of that title was called Hell Spawn. That was a little mini series, like a seven issue, I think. All right, I just want to make sure that I wasn't high yet. <laughs> <laughs> so my other I, I'm unboxing it right now. This is another unofficial sponsor of the uh low grades here. This is uh, from In Stock Trades, and <laughs> I've been trying to get them to sponsor me for like ten years now. But what, would you like to have this guy sponsor you? What's up, Bubs? Oh, What's shit. going on, good looking folks? What happened to Caroline? She calls me out. And she fucking dips. See yeah. how that is? She had to take a I... shit, dude. She'll be back. She's it's weird how you didn't jump on until after she left. I wonder if that's a coincidence. I, hey, I got here. Sir, I, I got you here. Never saw them together could, at the I'm same time. You, Are they one and the same? You be the judge. She runs faster than those chasing her. That's how she survives so long. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Bubs. How many margaritas did you have today? It, after one margarita, no, I haven't had any. <laughs> but I had been day drinking all day. I had a work function. So I was doing mimosas and then day drinking. And then on the way back, I was hungry, you know, after all that drinking. And so then I sat at a, at a restaurant, had some more beer. And was it Weiner Central? Yeah, hey, you should have went to Weiner Central, dude. Drink coffee. Working hard. Do you have a Weiner Central over there? A who? A Weiner Central. I didn't know what it was yes. either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a hot dog, basically. Yeah. yeah. All and right. do you go there? It's a chain. Oh, hot a chain dogs. of hot dogs? Yeah. No, it doesn't. I, I think you're thinking it. Doesn't, doesn't James run a train of hot dogs? <laughs> that not, that different? It's a train of wieners, right? It's a wiener train? That's on the OnlyFans. Yeah, you got to pay oh, for okay. that. All right, I got that. you. I got you. Paid content. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> for sure. Um, all right, so my last one is going to be the Daredevil Omnibus, volume number three. Uh, I do believe this is the variant cover. I went with this one because it was much better than the other one, in my opinion. I like when they're actual, like... Hold on, dude. Bubs, your camera's possessed, bro. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? It's motion tracking. Damn. Yeah. I just turn up the lights a little bit. Hey, do no, any of your kids do water polo by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm aware. Why? Are you getting motion sickness? No, I, I mean, I... I guess it determines what break, break, tax bracket break, you're in. Yeah, yeah I didn't. Uh, <laughs> James is in our area. Robert's in a higher tax bracket than I knew. Yeah, we got to let we got to let James finish this. This. His yeah, it's heavy. Oh, it's oh, heavy. Hold it up. Hold it up, up there. Up there. I still hate it. I bitched about it last time. I'm going to bitch about it again. Uh, uh, it's horrible, dude. Them two <laughs> lines is just the worst decision ever. That's kind of boring. All that blank space. And yeah. it looked terrible on the shelf it's just it's trash um but yeah so this is uh i don't know if there's like anything fancy it's on the, trash so oh, i spent there money. Is nothing fancy <laughs> on the hard earned money on this trash he says it, <laughs> it's trash but i gotta have it <laughs> I, I mean yeah I, I do well 
Look at it like this. You can always take some chili cheese dog wrappers and re wrap the book. <laughs> I think that's a true story. I could print like one of those. Um, you know, you can print new covers for these things. I've just never done it. I don't know how it would actually turn like out. Like a new slip cover? Well, you know, yeah. back in our day, we just took brown paper bags and yeah. we made book covers out of them and then we drew all over them. So, you know, I, I did that too. Then then they they a folder and uh, uphill to school both ways. I did actually have to go to uphill to school both ways because <laughs> I lived on the other side of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. Wait, you lived on both of the other sides of the hill? The hill was in between school and my home. Oh, so, you had to walk up the, so you had to walk up the hill both ways. And down the hill both ways, though, right? Yes. You're leaving that part out because it's easier? Correct. Right. I got you. <laughs> Bubs, you got anything, man? Like to show off? Yeah. Yeah, I can show Acting off. like you've never been here before. I know. What the? <laughs> He's just like, I thought oh, I was what? late enough to miss all that. Oh, oh, you guys do comic books. Oh, yeah, I might have a few. I got this bag. No, oh, look at that. <laughs> Do you have to buy something to get that bag, or? Yeah, it's a comic shop. All right, what's a comic shop? Check out this product focus mode. Extreme close up and clarity. Nice. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. So got got those little buttons. Oops. It's rough as hell, but. So the deal was that this is kind of a reprint, if you will. It's a reused story uh, from the Golden Age. I want to say it's number 53 or 57 or something like that. But I have that issue of Superman. So when I saw this, and it's a different cover, it's like the same style of the other cover, but it's redrawn. So when I saw it, I was like, man, I don't care how ratty that is. I got to buy that. Well, yeah, Superman beat himself off. Yeah, and I and I, uh, I collect doppelganger covers and beat off covers. So this one, this one fits, as they say. Double whammy. Oh, nice. There's a nice Greg Land, She Hulk. Yeah, that, I love Greg Land, dude. He's so fucking sick. I might put that, that run on my. And a nice guy too. Super nice guy. Here's Beware the Claws of the Cat, number Dose. The owl and the pussycat. What's new, owl? Nice. Oh, and then we got this one here. It was a cave woman one shot. Who did that cover? Devin Massey did this one. Oh, nice. So my it's Devin okay. Massey story is that there for a lot of times I would do cave woman comic calls as I collect them. Mm -hmm. And I was always shitting on Devin Massey's art like Constantly, my favorite line to always say was Devin Massey shits the bed every time he takes pen to paper, right? Yeah, but you say that constantly, and then you know, through the circles of being a cave woman fan, it's not a huge fan base, and um, and so I got to know a lot of these people. And so, lo and behold, one day Devin Massey sends me a fucking friend request on Facebook and he sends me okay. messages about how he enjoys you know the stuff I collect and all this, stuff, and I felt like a piece of dog shit. <laughs> so, hey, Bubs, do you want a couple blanks? Of cave woman cable blanks? Woman? Yeah. Yeah, if you got any. I have two. Yeah, I'll take them. Bring, are you going to bring them in June? I can do that or I can mail them to you. I don't care. Whatever. Since it's your generosity and I'm offering in no yeah. way to pay for the no, blanks no, or no. the shipping. <laughs> right. And it's really your choice. Yeah. I'll, yeah I'll I was going to say, Bubs is the one to pay for shipping. That's why he's... Go wait till June, dude. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't wait. Uh, I ship so much stuff. The same up. place you're at. <laughs> yeah, but then I have to remember to bring them. And what is? Yeah, that? actually, I've been looking for for cable and blanks. I have them on my want list, if you will, and I haven't seen anybody come come up. Yeah, I got two of them. They get uh, black box sent them to me with all oh, the other cool. with all the other crazy stuff they've sent me that I've been slowly going through. But here's some uh, more Greg Land goodness. Yeah, this is the trade. I love his black hat, dude. Mighty Marvel. Yes, I love his everything. Like I've yeah. never seen him draw anyone that I'm like, ah, I don't care for that. True. Yeah, I think about that high def focus. What what kind of camera is that, dude? It's called the Badassery uh, Polo Edition. 
Yeah, no. you can only get one if your kids are in water polo. <laughs> that's, that's what I understand. <laughs> Always bringing it back. Always bringing it back. Here's yeah. uh, some Adam Hughes. Nope. It still tickles. Oh, wow. Now, Adam Hughes I, cover. That's I resisted that. getting this book for a long time because Same. I wanted the Golden Age book that it references, right? That mm -hmm. it's an homage to. But that book not only was always expensive, but it seems to be getting worse and worse every year. And I haven't even seen one to be able to purchase. Like I've not been in the same room with one. Mm -hmm. And it's a book I always look for and I, I just haven't made it happen. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and get this book because I may never get the other one just out of no chance, you know, because yeah. I'm willing to pull tuition from water polo all fucking day. <laughs> I'll buy this fucking book. That kid, he can eat fucking glizzies and fucking Wiener schnitzels all fucking day. I'm going to get that book. But, you know, here we are. Uh-oh. Nice. Now, this is some good kind time. of key. I don't know what the yeah. key is. but First Illuminati. It's a good time to buy that book, actually. Is it? Yeah. All right. So I, I didn't know that. I All I knew is that I thought I already had this book. Because there's another book that's, I think, a, another New Avengers something, and it has the same front but a different back. So it has all the same characters, and then there's like a brick wall kind of uh, puts you in the mind of Days of Future Past, you know, when Wolverine's got like Kitty mm. Pride by the wall. So it looks yeah. like that, and it's got posters and everything. I've got it somewhere in the collection. I'll have to find it. But it has the exact same art. The forefront art, the fore art is the same. So I thought I already had it. And then when I saw that this was actually the key, I was like, well, I'll get that one too. So here it is. Nice. And I just happened to get lucky and steal that one for a good price. Here's some foildy goodness. Oof. The Wolverine. Is it adamantium foil? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. I would have chipped a tooth right then. That's you just gave the book saying. AIDS, dude, or herpes. Mm. It gave it to me first. <laughs> Actually, I got it from a bicycle seat. So it's, it's a story I've been sticking with for years. Uh, so next up, I will show you books that I already own. Okay, so this is not uh, this is not technically a haul, but they're the books that I've called so far for my submission to CGC on-site grading at HeroesCon. So they're going to do some on-site grading. Yeah, they just announced that the other day, huh? That's really cool. Yeah. And they said they're going to do a limited number, which 69. I don't know. They'll just go faster is what they'll do. But I'm hoping that if I get my order in fast enough and also present the books to them early enough on Friday morning oh. that I may be able to get them back maybe before Sunday, like maybe Friday or Saturday. That's possible. It'd be great. Because it's I know they, they, they slab and grade all night. Like they go all night slabbing and grading. So... Anyway, so first up, we've got Planet Comics number 20. Damn, she's oh, bad. That was nice of you to get that for me. Yeah. yeah. You're As you see, she's DTG down to Gator. I'll beat that. Winged, winged Gator. Winged Gator, yeah. Now with wings. And that's big. That's big yeah. for the. I mean, it was Buffalo Wings first. Now there's Gator Wings. That's a true story. I bet they taste just as good, too. Tastes this like is a nice rivet sure. cover. Uh, so I'm going for a complete run of Planet Comics, and I want them all CGC graded oh, as well. Oh, so you don't have, like money. I know. <laughs> and, and I'm on a registry hunt to, to get them all on the registry and crack the top 20 or so of Planet Comics collectors. <laughs> I love it. So I'm fully bought into that scam. Does so, your wife know about this plan, dude? Yeah. Yeah, she's so, all so you're synced up, right. up with Spider Planet and buying all his cast offs. Uh, yeah, I talked to Jared yesterday, yeah. and he, whatever, he, we, he we don't see eye to eye on yeah. all books. He, so. he has much, he values his books a little differently. Well, what happened is that he, he had a complete run at one time. Yeah. I only know two people that I've ever had a complete run. And and he's one of them, of course, and he no longer has a complete run. So he oh. kept the books that he really liked, most of the rivet issues. Yeah. And he sold off the rest, of which I've purchased two in the past. And then now, you know, money gets tight for everybody and people's tastes change. And he's after some more books. And what's really great is that all these Golden Age collectors are chasing pulps right now. 
which is the new, you know, hot girl on campus, which to me is like, have, go I, have at it. Yeah. yeah. I've got some pulps, but I don't have a lot and I don't want a lot. So these guys are like, they're, it's so funny because they're pushing the prices of pulps themselves because they're buying pulps as cheap as we used to for, you know, anywhere from 10 to $30. And then they're getting them graded with CGC because CGC came out to Dallas and gave us a presentation and showed us how they're going to grade pulps and everything. We're like, okay, that looks cool. And then they're sending these books in, they're getting them back and they're like, I want 1300 for them. So they're yeah. asking, you know, a hundred times. They're, they're, the price they're trying to set them. the market. That's why. Right. So they're yeah. setting the market, but then they're like getting high on their own supply because they're like, oh, I really like this other pulp that this guy got graded. I don't have a copy of that. Yeah, yeah, that that book is worth thirteen hundred. I'm like, that you know that's messed up because doing? that's gonna that's gonna drive a lot of people away from collecting pulp. You know, not I probably would people, never not the because, gold thing, because we're already used to paying that. I mean, we already yeah. pay that for books anyway. So they're just trying to shift. I think the golden age collectors to pulps, oh. and that's fine because while they're doing that, these golden age collectors are offloading their stuff so that they have more money to buy pulps. I'm like, this is great. This is better than a Coke habit. Like you guys, I'll, I'll buy everything in your fucking yard sale, man. You go, you go <laughs> get your fix, you know? So yeah. that's what's going on. So Jared is in that kind of embroilment yeah. right now that's where he's, he's buying pulps and off. I was wondering why he was books. been selling so much recently. Cause I knew oh, yeah, he, he was trying to upgrade all his planet comics, but now I didn't realize he, he was the ones that he kept. He was going to upgrade, but nice. here's number 25. Why she got so on these, on. I've just decided to grade them as early as I have them. So the earliest ones first. I don't know why. Just well, I, didn't, I didn't think it was a, they were allowed to draw a woman in a red dress and let her keep her shoes on. Well, technically, <laughs> she's in an orange dress after a few years of fading. So I think it's wow. okay. Wow. <laughs> I think it's okay. Call the cops, uh, Rob. Yeah, I think yeah, it's but, against Golden so Age. So this, is, this is actually, since Rob's forcing us to talk about this cover a little more, I'll, I'll go a little more in depth of the art on this one. One of my favorite covers because a lot of these planet comics are like, oh, that's just some sci-fi shit. But when you look a little closer, there's always a little story contained in the cover, which which says a little bit more. That's why it's one of my favorite runs. So as you see, this old nasty, gnarly looking, you know, four tooth bastard is all after this chick, right? He is going to take and you see other people are riding him, right? And they're trying to attack him. But look, this guy's coming over here. He's going to he's going to murder that guy. Ray guns aren't stopping him. And she can't even reach for her gun fast enough, right? But look what she drops. A teapot, nice. right? Oh. Look, she had a baby one on the fucking grill. She's rotisserying <laughs> one of the fucking baby monsters. Oh, shit. Ah, they're coming after this bitch, man. They're coming to get her. Look at that. Wow. You got the baby on the rotisserie and two on the fucking plate. <clears throat> Look at that. Just a mama trying to save her babies. I love yeah. shit like that. Too late. Too late. There's another one. Oh, wow. And at number 29. Love that yellow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look, that, I like the, I don't know. I, like the, I don't know. I don't know how he can. I don't know if it's like an avatar thing, how this guy is connected to that dragon, but that dragon is loving it. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you fellas see that face, you're doing something right. He's interfacing. It's in euphoria. Absolutely. You can see it. Oh, God. Like some fucking avatar. He's got his braid in there. I think he Whatever. was uh, stuffing some sausage. I believe he might be. <laughs> And I'm also working on a Strange Worlds run plus oh, registry. That's so. Clubs. There's a it's it's beat but complete Strange but, Worlds number nine. But it, but it's beat around the edges, so it all looks great in the middle. Yes. What, what's he doing to her though, Bubs? Sharp. Do what? What's he doing to her? It's it's like He's with the her. it's like with the the flying thing you showed earlier, but with two humans. Oh, no, no, he's reviving her. She she was running uh, at low on energy, and so he's filling her up with some. There you go, right there. She's on a high protein diet. He's giving her some electrolytes. Absolutely. <laughs> Rondo's got electrolytes. Did you know that? Here's another one, uh, number nineteen. May oh, look yeah. familiar to some of you. I do. That's cool. Hey, go ahead, Rob. We can't see it because you're in a square. You'll have to pull it off. There it is. Nice. We is that the one you picked up when I picked this one up? Yeah, almost a year ago now. So we yeah. got this same con, same day. We both got a copy of this book. 
Yep. Rob's a lot paid, faster about getting his shit slabbed than me. And Bub's paid a lot less than I did. <laughs> yes, but we don't talk about that because I don't want to upset Rob. I know he's still a little sensitive. I'm not. I'm not upset about it because I'm still happy with what I got. Yeah, and your grade's better than mine will will turn out to be. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's a uh, here's here's another one. Strange Worlds number six. This one's gonna get dinged because it's got some pen on it, but I can't help it. I still want it slabbed. That one's cool, but the girl's not really doing much to help out the situation. Typical. Well, this is one of those. Oh, classic, dude! I didn't say it. Uh, was I wasn't even thinking guy. that. That was, one your, that was one of your cellar dwellers at the bottom of the panel. There. I wouldn't <laughs> care for what he said. It gets you in trouble. So this is one of those Wally Woods slash Joe Orlando covers. So the, what happens is that a lot of times they look a little bit collaged or cut and paste, like, you know, almost like clip art. So that's a Joe Orlando alien. He's very famous for that kind of antlers that he gives them. Can you see that? And then oh, they're, that's they're, they're look like a boots. Wally Wood woman. Huh? Those antlers look, look like boots from here. Yeah. it's pretty, Oh, no, it's just your camera. Sorry. Yeah, whatever. Look at that. And then Wally Wood, woman there, and that's a Wally Wood back of the head guy there. So so it's a little bit like disjointed, which I like about their, their collaborations. So and that's it. So that's six books. One, two, three, four, mm. five, six. So six books that I'm planning to get done. There's a couple more. But I may I may lock this down as my vintage submission and then do a modern submission as well. So we'll nice. see. I'm even considering re signing up for the membership. That lets me know <laughs> that I know who to steal from when I see them. I mean You already have one of those, right? Oh, Maybe two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could have one. two though. That's right. I could have doubles. <laughs> well, I love I that you, you can oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, that's because uh, I'm going to be seeing him. He's got a couple books for me. So if there's any books that you want, you can let me know. I'll put you on a waiting list. And yeah, you have until to June to make your decision, dude. We've got a lottery. We've got a lottery we're working on. So you know, probably a duck race. You, you good with duck race? You know what a duck race is, Rob? We'll, we'll do no, a duck bro. race. I've heard about it. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. So, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm still running high off of my submission oh by the way uh what's up to julian and my brother ruben there um you know thanks for checking us out so my uh my submission that i did I, I was really happy with the only one i wasn't happy with was this okay but you know i did get a 90 um copy of it you know i got it yeah, I do. And, you know, I'll be honest with you. It's like a like a Ben on the corner. It's not even like color breaking. So I, I know I could resubmit Correct. it and it'll probably probably get a, a nine eight. Did did you know that from the notes or just from looking at it? Um, No, because I, I pressed all my books. So they, there's no reason for that lift to be there. So they bent it. Yeah, like I. um. There's no notes on it, but just kind of looking at it, I'm, you know, I see like a little lift on one of the corners. So no notes on a book from CGC, but that never. <laughs> oh wait, no, oh, that always happens. They'll rip entire covers off Golden Age books. Yeah, <laughs> for real. They'll shore the cover right. Damn. Right off. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was I was happy to at least get at least one ninety. I mean. You know, cover. yeah, dude, like it, and it's it's from uh 2012. You know, I think this is before uh John Taylor Christopher got known for doing these these uh type of covers. What was that name again? JTC. No, no, don't read it. What was the name? <laughs> it's JTC. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> and uh, just so you know, uh, I know Phil's here, they are my lord. <laughs> Um, me. yeah, here, here's a Mylar's I use for them. Nice. They're called really legal size. Because they're still wrapped. They're still sealed in the bag. So you can. Yeah, be... but those bags are trash, dude. I mean, these yeah, pop the bag, at least. The bag, the bags that they give you are garbage. Yeah. 
but I've, mm. I've never never really felt the need to spend my, my my mylar money on a slab. Yeah, I don't have any of my slabs in bags like that. Maybe I should. Put them they in poly nice. bags. To, put them in poly bags at least to keep them from getting scratched up. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, they they come scratched up anyways, even with the regular bag. So it doesn't yes, even do. fucking matter. I tell you what, C CBCS is worse, I think, for scuffing. They'll send That's like I had one order, every book came back scuffed. I'm like, really? So they, like all over, they, front, they, back, they, across they just the label. Put them as a brick. They don't even yeah. separate the slabs. It's like here's a brick, and we're gonna bubble wrap the hell out of it, and yeah, that's it. At least, at least uh, CGC does. You, you know who has the best protection for slabs? PGX. I know. PGX exactly. sends them wrapped with, you know, I mean, for what it's worth, right? Yeah, just call them out for the things they do right, and they wrap them in like fucking cellophane. Each individual one, you peel back the blue cellophane and everything and they wrap pretty good that's all yeah. except for one issue i had they shipped me all the books in a fucking uh what do they call those mailers uh a prepaid what is it, what's it called flat rate flat rate oh yeah yeah and a yeah. flat rate medium box one of the rectangular ones uh -huh. and the slabs were poking up the top and something yeah. happened in shipping and every one of the slabs got busted oh, so they, they, they've had so i will tell you that back in when i used to get a lot of them they had some of the best shipping i had and some of the worst i've had because i even got i got a shipment from them one time where they like ran out of packing material in the box on a big like 25 books of submission and so they just like grabbed emptied shopping grocery bags i mean plastic grocery oh, bags and uh old uh bags for uh, poly bags for slabs and stuff and we're just throwing that in there as packing material and i was wow. like oh really that's just weak Instead of using bags, they used like condoms it's, and shit. It's, almost, yeah. <laughs> Were they know, used? You know, <laughs> Probably. Knows, but somebody got fucked. Thank, thankful, thankfully, you know, I live somewhat close to them, so it didn't get too screwed up. But <laughs> all right, um, I got this one, the blip number one. Oh yeah. It's a 9.0, but it's you know it's from '83. Uh, First appearance of a popped collar. <laughs> this guy, his name is uh, Matthew uh, La Liberto or some shit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's right here in the middle. Yeah. I don't know. Very he, must, of Wiener Schnitzel. he must have been like a, a TV personality or something, but he's Why, not because happy. It's a, because it says TV star? You figured that out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a first appearance of Donkey Kong and Mario in comic. So okay. I had to get that. I was really happy with that grade because, um, you know, you guys should check out my uh, my YouTube channel. Um, I explained mm -hmm. it all, but I I did I find are the links down below. Yeah, yeah. I, got I did find I'm super fucking excited by the way for his book. <laughs> How does it is Mario and Donkey Kong in comic form, or are they just inside of a comic like? Is it this an actual one is, comic story that features them? Yeah, it's like a six pager or something like that. Okay. Kind of like New Teen Titans type of shit. Cool. Uh oh. I was really happy with this grade. Oh heck uh, yeah. Six point nine point six. Uh it it's a really solid copy, but I think maybe because of the off white white pages, I don't know. But it's it's sharp as fuck, um, really clean. So I don't know if page quality drops the grade, but I mean this. S surprisingly, no. I've actually seen a nine eight off white to white page. Oh shit! Doesn't doesn't seem like it should exist, mm -hmm. but they do exist. Yeah. So I, I got this book over in uh, James's hood uh, while I went camping. So. Did you peel his hood back to get to the book? <laughs> I'm confused. James, so wake up. James. What? I'm sorry. I'm getting the school emails. My bad. What? Come on, James. Uh, Rob's been up since 3 a.m., bro. You got to hang in there, man. Yeah. I'm handling school True. stuff. I'm also looking up this Matthew guy. Apparently, he was in a Little House on the Prairie. Oh, okay. 88 Did he die? Episodes. Did he die? I don't I didn't watch that shit. Oh. Of dysentery? Born. But anyway, nobody's thinking of Oregon Trail. It's a little different. <laughs> Nobody disses Terry. <laughs> Terry and the Pirates. Terry Funk. 
Nice. Um, so Mad there Love. You, there you yeah, go. Dude. Nine eight, dude. I was really happy about oh, this. This was sick. And you should be, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's an all black yes. book. You know, yeah. it's so. Um, I've been through trials. Shocked. And, I've been through some trials and tribulations with my copy because I had a mine was a nine six and I sent it in to get signed by um, Bruce Tim and it came back. Uh, oh no, no. At first, I sent it in to. It had horrible Newton rings. I sent it oh. in just to get a reholder. And it came back a nine four, and then, and then yeah. I sent it in for a Bruce Tim signing, and it and came back a nine. It came back a nine six with Newton rings again, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, all right, I'll just live with the Newton rings." <laughs> yeah, you it's just. Awesome. And then uh, I also got this one. The again, Ooh, another black cover. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, another that's... Harley key. Yeah. yeah. So, so you you guys are right. talking about scuff marks. These aren't scuff oh, marks. Yeah. They're like more like cum droplets. Right. That's um, that's those. not on the book. It's on the fucking slab. So, yeah. it's, it's, on the it's on the outside. It's on the inside. Always. Yeah. Who said they could come on my books, bro? Mm -hmm. I thought we were cool. <laughs> you didn't read the user agreement. Damn, bro, with you the sent in your books. Damn, bro, not everybody got that real estate money. He does get that water polo yeah. money though. <laughs> water polo money, y'all are crazy. So, so that's great. So now you got two of those. Okay. You can pull What's up, Katie? Hi. You're gonna, pull, you're gonna pull out the trifecta on the Harley Quinn keys now. Um, kind of not really. Like, that's probably as deep as I'm gonna go with with Harley. Is just these two. But, you're, not gonna um, go, you're not gonna go Batman Adventures 12. This one right here. There uh, you go. <laughs> well, it's only an 8.0. Throw it away. You I know. Not, <laughs> you got the other two or nine eights. Come on. Did you send it? Eight was high for low grades. I know. Uh, what was that, uh, Bubs? Did you send that in with this submission with all these? Yeah. Books? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, but I knew this one was gonna. So this is my second 8.0. but I knew it wasn't gonna get a nine, a nine eight, or even a nine six. I knew it wasn't going to get a nine anything because it's, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's got creases and stuff That's like that. Good. I, I press it as best as I could. Um, I, I honestly thought it was going to be like a six, five, maybe seven. So an eight, I'll fucking take that all day. Oh yeah. So, you put those two eights together. You got a 16. That's some shit right there. <laughs> yeah, that's um, cool. in case any of you want to see what one looks like. Oh, oh, that's CBCS, yeah, though, dude. Yeah, never. yeah, I know. So you yeah. can trust the grade, right? And with the I'll, hot newsstand right there, I'll keep. I'll keep that eight, the eight oh, dude. Thanks. Dang, <laughs> this yeah. Jeez. Just wrong. We we sold we sold off a copy at C three last year. That came that ended up getting graded in nine eight. Oh, oh wow. shit! Nice. Oh yeah, maybe one day, or maybe I'll sell the ones I have now just to get a nine eight. It was, a, it was a good deal. It yeah, you could definitely fire. do that. You'd have some left over. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, you could. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show is, um, so um, our club has uh, these club coins here. Oh, cool. Nice. And I'm shocked James didn't uh, show this off, but uh, this is the back. Um, they play this, like, game with it. I, I don't get it. I don't fucking Pog? participate. Yeah, they huh? play Pogs. The Pogs? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the game, James? Uh, it's not a game. It's called getting coin check. Okay. Oh, challenge coins. Yeah, people. And yeah. we got legitimately coin check. So if we have a get together, like a dinner, we'll do it. And then that way, you know, whoever doesn't have it has to uh, buy a round of drinks. But this past year at WonderCon, we got coin check by some random lady. <laughs> like, we don't know who the fuck she was. We didn't did she know pull out, we did she pull out hers? No. She, she's not she, even she, in the club. She, she can't coin check yes, if she yes. has got one. We don't even know who she is. She just randomly oh. walked past us and was like, coin check. And we're like, what the fuck? No, I had I mean we had them. But it was like she, she just kept fucking walking. What's up, Juan? Her? She what if you guys all pulled yours out and she didn't have one to pull out herself, she then owed you guys drinks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right so so um uh me and james well so i'm the vice president james is the president of our west chapter 
And um, we are, they actually gave us this. Um, only like presidents got it. It's a gold version. It's a gold? Ooh, yeah. that's well, cool. it's not like real gold, but uh, gold. No, it's a James maybe maybe the president, maybe, and you're the maybe, vice president. Yeah, yeah. now isn't who's got polo money? You see that? Isn't that, isn't that corrupt yeah. as fuck, Mar yeah, Marcus? Right. Like, like this. Ooh. I'm not gonna bullshit. You. That don't make no sense. Oh, to me. Okay, <laughs> isn't that amazing? <laughs> I might get a CGC. Mm. Do it. Come on, James. Nothing. Yes. Give me something, man. What's up? <laughs> hey James, where's yours? One check. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. It was right in front it's of me. I, I didn't show it, but yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah so that was, was nice. Uh, help an old lady get her groove back. How many chapters He's... of this thing are there? Forty-seven. No, there's a lot. Um, what six or seven or something like that? Uh, oh yeah, world, east, right? west, west just... south, international. Canada, that's five. Midwest. Right? Midwest. Canada isn't international. I'm trying to. I'm trying to lead the Mexico uh, chapter, them, but there's a decent amount of them, so they're enough to have their own. And then international is like all the guys that are over in like Europe and the and all that shit over there. Very cool. I'd do it for the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> the vest is pretty bitching. But I will say we also received this thing yeah. in a giant fucking medium flat rate box. <laughs> oh, you, he did the same thing to you? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, maybe we got some other shit in here. No, it was... There was just, just the coin. Just yeah, that just coin. that. Thrown in a fucking medium. Mine box. did have a, a, a bag and board, no board. Did yours have that too? Oh, I had... I mean a bag? Yeah. <laughs> board 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 with no board, is that right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, that was, that was I, I didn't want to. If I just said bag, you guys would have thought like a Vaughn's bag or something, yeah. you know. That's definitely not yeah. the least. No, you definitely from saved me from some confusion. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a Louis Vuitton yeah. handbaggers. I don't know, you know. Hey, we got a uh, tat comics in the house. What's up, man? Oh, man. Hi. Okay. Definitely, oh, definitely could have been cheaper ways to ship those out. Uh, yeah. Hey, Aaron's a prankster, man. That's what he does. So, I appreciated that joke. Maybe, or maybe he didn't have any other supplies. I was just thinking, like he's so used to packing up comics in those boxes <laughs> that it was just easier for him to just fucking throw it in those. I don't know. He could have taped it supplies. in a Gemini, even, and just shipped it ground. <laughs> Well, I know, <laughs> Rob. When I picked up that box, I was like, it, like it jingled around. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought he threw some books in there for us. I we were getting some crimson bats. I yeah, I and it was just that one <laughs> coin. Like, I was just, I completely forget. I'm so used to shipping like to the East Coast and how much it will cost certain things. So when using flat rates, so much for that type of stuff that. I was shipping some books into uh, the Rogue Trader in Utah to do some pressing on some books and was using a, one of them. There was a slab in there that he's going to do some stuff. So I was using the 1095 priority mm -hmm. mailbox with the slab shippers and stuff. And even though it was priority mail and stuff, because it was going within basically it's the, the next zone. Mm -hmm. It was only eight dollars to ship it. Oh, nice! <laughs> wow, it was, it was like a three pound box, you know, bigger than the medium flat rate box. Priority mail was like eight bucks because of the zones instead of. I'm like, god damn, I forget about that because you never get to ship hardly yeah. within the west coast too often. Yeah, yeah, that's the life hack, bro. <laughs> I don't ship too You're much. You gonna do a video so. on that, Rob? No, I didn't. Yeah. Well, all the stuff that when the stuff that's inside it comes back, sure, but not about the shipping. Oh, okay. That that already left. <laughs> what that Planet <laughs> Comics seventy was in there. He's oh, gonna nice. I'm I'm having it cracked, and having him. He's gonna do extensive cleaning and stuff to it because it. I don't expect the grade to improve on it. Although it'd be nice if it got a half grade bump, but it's yeah. just so dirty looking and stuff. I I just want to. Clean it up. My copy. Up my copy is dirty too, and it's got wave. It's got like I don't think yeah. it's water damage. I think it was just slabbed poorly. It looks yeah. like it's got some wave in it, so it needs a new inner well, I think. So I'm gonna crack it. Yeah. Plus, it's an older. Way. It's a little bit of an older grade at this point. The book, the Golden Age book, can use a 
some new acid, yeah. <laughs> anti-acid, whatever you want to call it, antacid. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, you got anything? Uh... I got all kinds of stuff. I was at a con last weekend. Oh, that's Ooh. right. Yeah. Hang on. Let me grab Katie, yeah. do you just go to one con a year, or no? How many? Got, how many do you I normally go to? Three more by May. <laughs> did you get the con aids like I did? Three, three more before May. A little wow. bit. She must be at one right now with a green regular, screen. You got the regular. Get three more. Got the, oh, you got the, the you got the HIV, HIV huh? Yeah. I, got, I got a con on oh, Cinco no. de Mayo, actually. I met lots of dudes on a Sunday. Whoa! Yeah. Short Short Box Live is on Cinco de Mayo. I didn't know it was on Sunday. Is that in Washington or is that in no, California? It's, it's in Santa Clara, California. All right. Okay. So I met cool ass dudes uh, here. We got Bob Elmore from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. He was nice. As oh, shit. look at that! He gave this to me for free. <laughs> wow, and then, and it must Kate be nice Hunter. to be a girl, huh? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I never Kate paid Hunter for a fucking and... speeding ticket either. I'm sure of it. I don't know. <laughs> we got to dance. It was amazing. It was great. Nice. It was awesome. It was very disco. Disco. It was fabulous. Uh, and then Bill Mosley was amazing. It was quite awesome. Uh, I didn't know he had his own <laughs> comic book, but. Uh, Oh, cool. Yeah, See what Brad uh, just said? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not denying it, Brad. Uh, yeah, I didn't know Bill had a comic, but yeah, he uh, it's pretty dope. It looks pretty interesting. Cool. Yeah. yeah, he was super nice. Looks Lots classic. And then I got to get, gotta get some sexy Otis time, so I got me some stickers. <laughs> and I got, you know, shorty. Got to have, gotta have nice. a killer clown. It looks like killer clowns from space. It does. It is. Because yeah. it is. Oh. How does that happen? I don't yeah. know. And then I got this sexy beast right there. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, you're That's a Robert too. Redford cover, right? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, he oh, says like, Robert Redford? Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I never uh, noticed that. That's funny. That's good I got stuff. a sketch cover for my homie Dave. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh. I, got, I got more crap, but... Uh, a lot of this was a dollar, so. But here, the sketch to... cover was a dollar. What? No, no. It, was th- it was thirty bucks though. Uh, oh, that's a steal. When was the last time you got a sketch for thirty dollars, guys? That's shit. a steal, man. Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, uh, I got Wonder Warthog in the Battle of the Titans. Look at these little fuckers. Oh yeah. Look at these guys. I got me some of this. Oh, cat. Cat nuts. Yeah, got to have that. <laughs> uh, I got this thing, which is dope. Puke and explode. He hits you with some guitars. And then I got all these uh, Nancy and Hells, but I like the old school movie poster homages. Oh, yeah. I like her boobs. They look I know. Really nice. Her boobs are lovely. Yeah, yeah. She's got more boobs, more chainsaws, oh. more boobs. Yeah, more chainsaw anatomically correct. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think you have yeah, to do that for a chainsaw. Uh, I got this biz right here. Nice. Oh, I was after that one. No, I got it for like super cheap. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that's, that's a tough book. That's really? a tough book right there. Yep. Yeah, uh, the guy I get him from, I buy from every single time. He usually has really good indies. He usually mm-hmm. has like a giant box of crumb stuff and like that kind of stuff and then like oh, uh, wow. horror stuff. So I'll be like, when I go up to him, he'll just put stuff aside under the bin and I pick it up on Sunday. So wow, that took it's, so to it's so oh, hard for us to that. It was sold out everywhere. It's so hard for us to be uh, buy uh, in the, or underground books in California because they don't yeah. allow them. Yeah, you have to get it oh, snuck really? in. Some original art right there. They don't allow. What's out the what? tick? No, it's uh, this. So it's this skull, which is this guy's original art, and then mm-hmm. venomized. Venomized. Yeah. Huh. And then I got. Uh, then he threw in two free prints because I bought that. So. Jesus so, Christ. Yeah. Dude, I like that. My favorite. Yeah, the low Somebody came up. <laughs> I get free shit all the time. Listen, okay. I bet. I, I like, bet oh, you do. Oh yeah, here. And then I got to hang with Javon Jordan. Uh, they were rapping on Friday, him and his crew. And then uh, Gacy had this uh, House of Thousand Corpses homage book or hustle in there. Oh, I thought and it was then, original. My bad. No, he had the original there, though. He got, he got Bill to sign it. Oh, the black bag special. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. 
Boom. Oh, I got this. Oh, shit. Nice. Where shit. are you going to put that at? With the rest of my bat. <laughs> right there. That's a good place right there above the door. Yeah, above my window. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. To window. Robert, they're all doors. Ooh. Every time. <laughs> I also, if we can fit through it, it's a fucking door. That's a I also got this most bitchin' hat right here. It says Pizza Slut. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's almost yeah. as good as James's Wiener Central hat. <laughs> You oh, guys can, can wear them together. Us. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. Boom. Go. Pizza, pizza, Hold on. I, hot dogs. One second. I'm shocked what? that James hasn't showed off his fucking other hat that he got. Right. The hell, James? What? Slacking. The, the hat you got last week, bro. You never even showed it. I showed. What are you talking about? The Wiener Schnitzel stuff? No, the baseball one. Oh my god. Did he get a Royals hat? <laughs> Dude, I, I even wore it. Is he it to wearing work. it right now? We just can't tell. You wore it to work and you changed hats and never even showed it? No, not today, but like I wore it to work the other day. Oh. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. All right. What she got? Okay, continue, Katie. You're gonna oh, have you oh, seen this hat, right? I got this. Uh oh, nice bottle my... of water. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was mostly for Is that alkaline? Oh shit. That's a that's a high dollar shit right there. Like Pedialyte. Super high dollar. I got even more crap over there, but I don't feel like grabbing it. So hey, you got to oh, stay hydrated uh, at those cons, you know. You do. <laughs> uh, last time I got the plague from John Lovitz. That was a bunch of people. Amazing. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Yeah, that's all I feel like showing at the moment. Yeah. No that's shit. a great haul. I mean, that's Thank you. yeah, that was dope. Sexy Otis, he's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll pass on that. Thank you, though. Yeah, look at, look at. No, he said, I'll pass through it. He wants you to put a hole right in the dead center. <laughs> like, oh, he needs he needs a big hole right there. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready for a glizzy. Where are you, James? <laughs> He went to go <laughs> find his hat that he left at work. I think he's over at Best Buy. Right? I mean, asking you, <laughs> Robert. Oh, oh my God. Give us look at that. Hat. Man. <laughs> Um, yes. Let's go. Oh, yeah. He looks, looks like, like, look like yeah. Ash Ketchum Wiener. That's what I was thinking. He looks like <laughs> Ash Ketchum in the ass, right? All right. <laughs> gotta catch those wieners. Yeah. Catch what them team is that, dude? Um. Oh, man. The it's not going to say in there, dude. You should... Reading. Yeah. Reading. I remember because really? I had to send it because Deadhead Ooh, won. It was, yeah, it was uh, like the reading baseball team and i think he said they're the phillies like minor league that's kind of that's that's funny dude <laughs> oh my gosh what they say at work <laughs> oh it was a hit i mean that you know the, they just shook his head at him like always <laughs> did, you, did you wear that like walking down the street no. i wore it to work like i walked no into, way. into work oh my god dude he was, was every, pushing a cart did, did every short a cart bus and goes like, let you on <laughs> like, I kind of want one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of want. For real? Are you like, want one? I was yeah. it is the the reading <laughs> fighting Phils. They are affiliated with the the Phillies uh, team. Because that hat just screams like, what the Phillies. fuck? It just screams. <laughs> yeah. Hey, all I know is if I saw you pushing a cart, I'd be waving you down for a hot dog. <laughs> right. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Even if it was a shopping cart, Rob would would request yeah. something. Yo. <laughs> so so yeah. that one came up on my Instagram feed, and I was like, James, you gotta get this dude, and he bought it like within five minutes. Oh, like, like, nice. You need nice. to get a custom made jersey to go with that now. That's amazing. Yeah. So fun fact: there is a Dodger one, but it's trash. Like, oh, don't yeah. even oh, like trash. don't even fuck with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm That's also a Giants trash. fan, so I can't. I can't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Look at the wiener oh, wiener. bro, they got fucking shirts. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. They're for flat tops. Why are they called flat tops? Oh, That's new. I've never heard that before. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys know much about minor league baseball, but they um, usually every minor league team has like a, um, they get to like name their, their alter ego team. Yes. And uh, for for uh, my minor minor league team, they're the the Cucuis, which is like a Mexican folklore guy or whatever. Um, James, you know the Phillies have whatever rating. Hot, what are they? The hot dogs or some shit or what are they? I don't, 
I don't even know where it came from for them. Um, or no, they, they the team makes it up, and they, that's what they go with. Yeah, so that's yeah. the same as there. Okay, I got you. I yeah, got you. I I immediately checked for a cream pie team, and there was not one. Because <laughs> me and James would be wearing it right now. Like oh, yeah. he would have that that would have been our new low grades logo right there. Yeah, I have the the one for the Stockton Ports. They're the Caballos. You're yeah, the Cooies are the Caballos. Yeah, this like this shirt I'm wearing right now is minor league baseball team. It's a Bowling Green Hot Rod, so they got the BG on there, and uh, it was their Marvel night, so they did like you know oh, it's a uh, nice. so it's got Bowling Green Hot Rods right because it's where the Corvettes mm. are made, and yeah. then it's got like Black Panther on here, but their alter ego on Thursdays is uh, the bootleggers, so the Bowling Green oh. bootleggers, and it's dollar beer night and two dollar hot dogs. Yeah. Whoa. So we Dude, go minor league teams are so fun to go to. I fucking love it. We you go, see that that's black Panther that's Panther Black Panther on the cover? Yeah. Or on the front? So yeah. uh for our team, the the 66ers, it's a group. Oh they that's group. cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. So that's minor I league mean, baseball rules. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's so fun. Like it's great. You know, it it filters out all the bullshit of major league, you know. Yeah. It's baseball fun. like you know it's always it's a it's such a like to do to go to like a major league game the minor leagues is just there's so much easier like especially really if you have like a ballpark like you're i wouldn't yeah. know my problem is that the oakland days are a minor league team and so <laughs> now they are i gotta do that <laughs> super easy why because they're doing it to me god damn it yeah <laughs> there was one other book I, there was one other book i forgot to show that we that got um, that Brian from Comic Web again, he had donated this for the comics carrying cancer. So oh. it's uh, a history of the DC universe. Uh, oh, cool. and it's signed inside signed. by George Perez. What? Nice. So that's, that's awesome. Be, so that's going to be available during comics carrying cancers uh, when we do our auction the first weekend in October. You need oh, you yeah. need to get Marv Wolfman to sign it up. He'll probably be at Heroes. He goes to everything. If he is, I will bring it with me and have him sign it. Heck yeah, because it says Wolfman and Perez right on there. So right, have, exactly. You know, Wolfman and Perez sign it. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Well, we're about to wind down, but I want to ask an important question to Bubs, man. Bubs, how is your Wii U working out, dude? How like are ass. you having fun? Let me tell you something. That Wii U, I had it. I bought it and had it modded by the end of that weekend. So I've got every no every, way, dude. Yeah, you take forever to send books into CGC, but you get a Wii U and you're on it. I couldn't help myself, man. I I, I loved it. I got the extended battery pack for the controller, so it lasts like eight hours and shit. And I got it all <laughs> hooked up, and I got all my games on a on a separate hard drive, which I had to do Phantom Power to. So it was it was great. So I did all that, and it really came in handy. So I, this, is, this is I'm trying to bring the show down or nothing, but I, that's James's job. But what happened was <laughs> so we had we had somebody pass away in the family, right? And pretty close, you know, member of the family. So uh, I, we ended up with his grandkids, like during okay. this time, right? Wow. Like, while, while he was passing away, we ended up with his grandkids to watch them so that his family could be, you know, his more nuclear family, right, could be could be with him. So uh, we uh and that we fucking saved my life. Twelve year uh 14, 12, and 10. And the 10 is wild. So 14, oh. 12, and 10. And we were all four-way split screen on Mario Kart and having a great time. And then then they were playing all kinds of games. And it was just, it saved my fucking life for like, Damn. we had them on and off for like four days. So That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm glad things worked out, dude. That's yeah, It was uh, meant to you be. Know, you take so long to, to do anything. And the, the one time you're on it. It the, pays I'm off. Thinking that the switch could have accomplished all of that too. But no, because I would not have had the budget to purchase every game the switch has. <laughs> but I could once the Wii U was modded. I had every Wii U game on there. So at that point, it was they were well, like, and I never played uh, Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah. I never played that before. So the parody is pretty good too, though. If you ever watch it, the who? The parody? No, never. I don't watch never those. mind. That were two hot dogs, or anyway, it was, it was, uh, but it, it was, it was badass. So, yeah, me and the Wii U 
we're we're very happy together. It's it's worked. Out. It's been a match made in heaven. So there you go. Nice. Also, at any point, did one of those kids ask you? Hey, uh, do you have a Switch? Because this is kind of... <laughs> well, they had played the games on the Switch. Like, one of them had a Switch. Not with them, though, of course. <laughs> nothing nothing got sent with them. But one of them owned a Switch, so they knew how to play a lot of the games, and they had played them before because a lot of the Switch games are, like, just old Wii U games. Mm-hmm. So they were real happy with that. And so, and I had already bought a classic control, uh, pro controller from uh, this little local game store. I had one. It was, like, 14 bucks. Mm-hmm. I picked that up. And I also already had Wii controllers where we used to have a Wii. So I had a shit ton of those plus oh, the up. classic controller connected to that. So we already had all of the peripherals that we needed. And then I was, and I didn't know they were kind of like, it was, it was like a, can you take these kids home kind of thing? So we were, yeah, you, you don't want to say no because you know, we, you don't want to be an say. asshole, especially like, I mean, oh, we don't time. want them to know what an asshole I am. Let's, yeah. Let's <laughs> <end with that. laughs> so, yeah. So so it was it was amazing. So that that Wii U has a place in my heart forever. Aww. So maybe not a place in my console if I ever get a, a Switch, but I'll wait until the Switch Two comes out before I plunk the money on one of those this year. Yeah. <laughs> See how well, James, like like I told him. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Pokemon variant, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Bob's like I told Marcus earlier. I'm glad that he got one before you did. I mean, he didn't Aww. technically get one. He stole <laughs> one. He stole yeah. one before you could get one. Nice. Oh. Well Bye done, sir. Well kids. done. Yeah. Nice. I'm waiting for James to give me one of his seven leftover ones, but he hasn't come <laughs> off. He's got twelve, yet. and he's hiding them all from his children. Stingy. That's what he is. Yeah. Stingy. This is yeah. all true. It's oh, terrible. that's that's you James, dude. I mean, you're not, you're not playing unless you're not rocking the hot dog. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, <laughs> that's what you need right there. Yeah, Good that. wiener in your hands, James. Have you ever accidentally tried to eat one of those controllers? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Nom, 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 oh, nom, yeah. nom, James. <laughs> Uh, James, you've got the Wiener Doc too, don't you? The Oscar Mayer Doc. And- yeah, you, the, you, you don't have a Wiener Doc. Doc are the same controllers. I think he's sitting on the Wiener. You could dock. Uh, you could dock both controllers together, and they charge each other. Yeah, we both oh, have that is. and the controller. There you go. That's so badass, dude. I like how Rob just shaking his head, like he's just like, <laughs> what mean, the fuck? Whatever. He's so gonna we smoke weed all weekend. Got, don't we let him lie. Yeah, we got we got the piggy bank. Oh yeah. We got the gum, the whistle. Oh bro, you gotta you gotta do the whistle, bro. Gosh. We gotta do that every show now. Wiener whistle, let's go. I don't even know where I put the whistle. Oh bro. <laughs> oh, Check man. your asshole, bro. No, it's stuck in the friend right now. He's still waiting. Bart, let's see what happens. Put that wiener in your mouth and blow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's all it's between my cheeks. Let me pull it out. Like I just save it there. <laughs> yeah. Give him his wiener. He wants his wiener. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> all right. Well, um, I think now is a good time to end it while James <laughs> still looks for his whistle. I know. Um, but hey, uh, th- thanks to the chat for showing up. I mean, this was awesome. I'm super happy to be able to drop the link. Um, I feel like it's been yeah. forever since yeah, we dropped it, it. it has and been. it paid off. I mean, look at the panel we have now. Yeah. It's you know, the of the food. I mean, Caroline even joined us for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I right, go for it. James, what do you got? I, I don't even remember. <laughs> Are you doing it backwards? You're supposed to blow, blow not better. suck. <laughs> blow on that wainer. There, it is. there we go. go. There we go. All right, all right. <laughs> so so now, let's you know, I'll let you know, know it's wiener time. <laughs> all those glizzies finally paid off. Hop on the train. <laughs> every every Friday, James. That's right. that's all how right. you can end it. I got, I got it Marcus, right thank you for fucking joining us. Katie, yeah. Bubs, Robs, dude, this was fun, man. Even you, Caroline. Uh, even though you're not here, you left us for another show. Um, yeah, but we'll we'll uh, we'll talk to you about that later. Every Friday between seven and seven thirty p.m. <laughs> It'll start at some point during that time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, subscribe to us and uh, check that bell, and it'll tell you. Um, but yeah, we're we're here every week, and uh, we just have a great time. Maybe next week, Tad can join us. Do you know who Tad is, Katie? Hell yeah, yes. You guys know who who that is? Yeah, Tat. Tat. I got a little history with Tat. Not as in depth. You guys used to date and coins and stuff. No, <laughs> but like uh, once upon a time, Tat used to run a Monday lunchtime stream. 
Okay, mm. it was a long time ago. It only got like four or five views a week, right? But he he did this little lunchtime stream, and it was awesome. And it was one of the first times that anyone that I ever saw, you know, that was kind of comic community, almost pre-comic community times, right? That anyone ever kind of went on and was just live and didn't give a shit who was watching and just showing off stuff and talking to the yes. camera. It was fucking awesome. And that gave me the courage to go live. And I started when he stopped oh, doing it because it's yeah. like work schedule. So, changed. so, so we could blame him for him. everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you that can blame him. Oh, okay. Ty, live streams. I did. I did recorded content, but I. I, Ty, I was going to say you could join us next week, but nah, yeah. never mind. Uh, All right, sorry. <laughs> about that. His too. Uh, AG no, for, for sure. Check us out next week and uh, we'll drop the link again and uh, you could join us. Um, I don't know if you've watched our show before, but this is what it is. We just hang out with our friends and have a good time. Mm -hmm. And laugh so at James. Check, check out James tomorrow over on Only Slaps. Yeah. yeah so, right. Oh, sweet. On this you channel. know, yeah. 1130 <laughs> a.m. Pacific. Yeah. Be I'll, I'll be 14 that. graded spawns and 15 <laughs> graded X-Men 4s. Like that spawn ones and X-Men 4s is all he's got. Like Rated comic shop news. Rob, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I'll be busy, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll probably catch the rewind. Um, I like I like when when um, James shows off uh, his slabs because uh, I probably pressed most of them, you <laughs> know. So uh, you know, I just like to you know yeah. reminisce on like what I did to them oh, to yeah. make them that great. Oh my! Well done, <laughs> so, Thanks, Rob. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much to the panel, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Low grades for last.